Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my nail vlog, Valentine's Day edition. So I got around to finally doing my nails and I chose out the D&D Sheer Pink Gel. I originally had gel polish but I had taken it off my nails um, to prep for a new pair of gels. My index finger nail broke so that was really sad. Um, I had been growing my nails out for a month now so I was really really bummed out. It kind of just split in half while I was grabbing milk this morning so that was no fun but we worked around it. So I've been going to the salon for about six years now. Mary has been doing my nails since I was 15 so that's really crazy but I've been super dedicated to her and I just love and adore her and the way she does my nails and takes care of me. So here she's just taking off my polish. I had already soaked off gels at home so I just put polish and I really was praying that my nails would last me just one more day so I can get them done and look really pretty for Valentine's Day but of course, one nail had to pop off, and it did. So, um, she's just taking off my nail polish. I find this process super relaxing. That's just me. I don't know about anybody else. I opt for gel polish because I feel it's really, like, kind of healthier for my nails in a way. And I know it's a little weird, but I noticed that getting acrylics obviously makes my nails very weak. But gels in a way made it strong. I had a really bad experience with acrylics so putting gel really restored my nails and being somebody who's constantly working with my hands I like gel because I'm able to you know switch it up and it lasts me a good month and it's not damaging to my nail. If anything it grows my nails out really well so that's why I was extra bummed out when my nail broke because my nails had such a nice growth. For the last month but we ended up deciding that we would just trim my nails to a medium length so it would allow the index finger to grow out in another week's time <sighs> i'm still really sad about that <laughs> so here mary was just cutting my horrible cuticles they were so bad probably because it has been a month since I have gotten my nails done and my cuticles were just playing. So Mary had a lot of work to do today, cutting those ugly cuticles of mine. I was debating between that color and pink, but I did opt out for pink for Valentine's Day and my favorite person loves that color. So yeah, of course I had to go with that color for Valentine's Day. I actually really love this color. Um, it's been something I've opted for a lot, but lately I had been using Bubble Bath by OPI. Three coats of that, so let me know if you guys enjoy this vlog. Next time I go, I will make a video of that. I absolutely love Bubble Bath on my nails, but Sheer Pink has also been really, really nice. So she's just cutting my cuticles, and I had a lot of cuticles. It took forever. I feel bad for Mary. Thank you, Mary, for always taking care of me. I think I really appreciate with any service when someone takes their time. So I really appreciated that she took her time and was really neat. That's why I've been such a loyal, loyal customer to my girl. Here she was just filing the nails. I usually get squared and rounded on the edges. I don't like any pointy edges. So I really make sure that my edges are rounded and I like a flat square top. So, um, if you guys like the shape, what it would just be is square shape with rounded edges. And I find that the nail looks really beautiful and it's still squared up. Um, over here, I couldn't really get a full proper video of it, but she just used a nail bit to smooth out my cuticles. Um, I actually like that a lot rather than going really in deep with the cuticle cutter because I don't like the deep cuts that happen with it sometimes. So the nail bit really worked well. And here she's just taking a nail file to kind of um, roughen up the bed of my nail um, to prep it nicer for gel. And just going back and shaping. I love that she constantly goes back and reshapes my nail. You'll see throughout the video that she does it more than once. 
um, because it really helps the nail look better at the end because constantly like the nail is changing when you're putting on product. So I really love that she goes back in and is constantly reshaping my nail and making sure that it's perfect and all the edges are nice and rounded off. And um, the other thing that I really like is that with gel, I feel like my nail can breathe. It's really weird. I really love gel. Um, I don't know. I've just been huge on gel. I've been getting gel regularly now for four months. So if you're somebody who likes long-lasting manicures, I highly, highly recommend gel. It's not that damaging to my nail. I don't know why I keep saying that, but it's true. It's really not that, not that damaging to the nail. It's actually really nice. So she's just taking a nail buffer and buffing out all my nails to smooth them out. I love the soft part of gel because it's so smooth and shiny all the time. The shine lasts me a good month. As long as you take good care of your nails and just make sure that you protect them from like any rough use, the shine should last you a while. And my nails don't really get that rough so there's not much for her to buff. Like I used to get with acrylic. I used to get really, really hard ridges on my nails. And I don't really get that with gel. But a lot of that has to do with removal. So if you're removing them properly, you should not be getting any ridges on your nail. Proper removal will ensure that your nail underneath is safe and not damaged at all. So I just went to wash my hands now. And Mary was just cleaning up after my cuticle dust and nail dust and disgusting skin tags everywhere um i just went to wash my hands and now we're gonna prep for the gel polish and i'm so excited because it came out so nice can we just appreciate mary's gold bangles y'all like vietnamese vibes on level 1000 and her nails i actually wanted to get her nails in the video and i totally forgot leaving but her nails were so cool so here we were just discussing the color. I decided to go with three coats of D&D &D Sheer Pink. I really wanted a nice coat. I don't like my nail showing through. I like an opaque coating, so I go for three layers. And that's okay as long as your nail tech is working in thin layers. It's okay to go in with three coats. So here she's just using a, um, I think it's like a prep nail prep to dehydrate my nails and prep them for gel and now it's just gonna apply a base coat so she's just completing my base coat here and after that we went right in with the D&D sheer polish so here's what one coat looks like but of course I'm not gonna get one coat so um, I ended up getting three so I'm just gonna show you the process this was one coat and I love this color guys it's so beautiful especially for Valentine's Day here's two coats so it's pretty nice but I do like a thicker um, look and more of an opaque look to make sure that all my nails are covered so this is what two complete coats look like. I want to get a full video for you guys. If you guys do like a more sheer coverage, this is what two coats looks like. And here is three coats. You can see on my pinky, it's a total opaque color and total coverage. And I absolutely loved, loved, loved it. I love three coats of it. Right on my pink, you can see it's total covered. So we opted out doing a heart on just the ring finger as an accent nail. It's a holographic heart, I believe, Mary said. And it was really beautiful and it's really shiny, so I'm glad I added that on. So she's just adding that on right to my ring finger. It looks super cute. I was debating between this or glitter, but... Mary said glitter might offset my nails, so I really did like the little detail. It thought it was really cute for Valentine's Day and a really nice touch. Yay! It looks so pretty. It was so shiny. The camera wasn't even picking it up. 
So this was the final result. I was so happy. They look so beautiful. I had so much fun making this vlog for you guys. Wishing you all a very happy and full of love Valentine's Day. And let me know if you guys want to see more of these vlogs. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel, guys. And I'll see you guys really soon. Bye!